This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So today I have two bale trailers for you from 4D Modding. Now this is an interesting story. So 4D Modding had uh, created both of these trailers and submitted them to the Giants Mod Hub. Uh, and with respect to one of these trailers, way back in early December or late December, I think. And with the other trailer, sometime in early January. Well, due to Giants being so backed up with mods, uh, currently as of the recording of this video, we know that they have at least 229 mods pending testing. It seems 4D modding has pretty much uh, gotten tired of waiting and wants everybody out there to have access to these things sooner than later. So he has released both of these on his Facebook page. They are clearly, since they are released via Facebook and not through the Mod Hub, they are currently PC only. But he is leaving them in the Mod Hub, still pending testing. So eventually, maybe February, maybe March, maybe April, who knows when. Eventually the intent is that they will get cleared from the Mod Hub and be posted in the Giants Mod Hub for release and at that time available for consoles. But at this time they are PC only because they are being released outside of the Mod Hub. So let's first look at this old decrepit trailer. And this thing is, well, to say beauty is in the eye of the beholders, well, that is surely, probably, most definitely what uh, someone would say about this thing. Uh, it is definitely been beat around the bushes. Uh, this is its brand new configuration. Rusty. Paint chipped away. And, well, the floor has seen much better days. Be very careful. Uh, you don't want to slice your, slice your calf open or your shin as a result of falling through one of these holes in the floor. And here on the back, I've got a 3-6... 15 square bales on this particular trailer. See, it's got plenty of straps. And I've got it in the lizard wheel configuration. We'll take a look at that in the shop. Now, I would say you wouldn't probably want, you do not want to stack more than three high on this particular trailer because it gets a bit squirrely. I mean, it's a bit, gets definitely gets top heavy. Let's take a look at that trailer in the shop. So if we go to tools and then baling technology, scroll all the way over here, we'll get to the 20 foot refurbished flatbed trailer. You can see what this thing looks like in the shop. Other than the fact that it looks like it's got a fresh coat of varnish and shellac, I used to call it, on the trailer bed because it's nice and shiny. This thing has been, well, it's been to the moon and back and maybe back again. As far as configuration options, we can change the rim color. And we can change the wheel brand from Lizard. You can see it's got dual wheels on both sides in that configuration to Nokian, single, bigger wheels, to Trelleberg, single, wide wheels, and back to Lizards. You can change it from the standard flatbed to the flatbed with a front brace or round bales. To a front and rear and then we can go all options which gives us this toolbox down here now, I'd like to see where we can have a toolbox but not these or the one and the toolbox and not the rear one because this would be nice if we were going to push bales up against it or or anything else um, would be nice to be able to have this so that's pretty cool looking. and then we have no registration or we can put Basically plates on it. We got says so uh, Ireland. Uh, we got different registrations: Germany, UK, France, Netherlands, and then back to no registration. This thing is pretty cheap in this configuration. It's nine thousand five hundred twenty-five dollars, four hundred eighty-five dollars to lease, ninety-five per day, and two hundred. 
per operating hour. Let's go ahead and back out because I want to show you something with respect to toolbox. Let's get this one here that is empty because I got that one with all the uh, all the goodies figured to it. See, it does have dynamic hoses, so the hoses do hook up. And if we look at the F1 menu, we have X unfold the bale trailer. Drops down the door on this little toolbox. And we have X to open it back up. Now, I haven't tested this because I didn't think to, uh, to put the little portable toolbox mod in. But I wonder if you could put that in there and then close the door. I don't know if those have if that box has collisions all around on it. Now when I was driving this trailer with the bales on it, it does have pretty good independent suspension. See the see the rear axle um, shifting independent of the sides. It was pretty slick over here and just hook up to this one here that's loaded down and we'll drive around the shop and just kind of see how well it uh, handles with these bales on it like I said we've got 15 on here and I probably wouldn't recommend going any more than that just because it gets it's pretty squirrely See right there, we're starting to lean pretty good now. I might not have done the best job in in loading up this trailer. Right now I'm doing a little keyboard driving. Swaying back and forth, but get the gist here. Probably wouldn't be a good job, good idea to put too many more bales on here. I'll, I would think if you went four high, you'd probably be risking a pretty good tip problem. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the other 4D trailer. It is the Brogan, Broghan Bale trailer. It is the same, same gist in that it has been submitted to the Mod Hub. Let's take a look at this one in the shop. Again, under bailing technologies, you have the Brogan 28 foot flatbed. It's a bit more expensive, but then again, it is a new looking. We have our choice of rim colors and main color. Got the yellow tape on there. Got Trelleberg tires as the standard configuration. We can go to Michelin. Or Nokian, back to Aaron Lizard, right there. Back to Trelleberg, and we've got the standard configuration, square bale configuration, and the, I've got one of these loaded with square bales. And we've got the round bale configuration, and the potato pusher, which I have one of, but I tell you, I'm not, I don't really understand it. Maybe somebody can put something in the comments as to what um, what the potato pusher's functionality would be. And back to standard. And we've got, once again, no registration. And we have the various registration plates that we had on the other trailer. And as configured, this is $14,730. $751 to lease, $147 per day, and $309 per operating hour. Just like the other trailer, does have a toolbox that if you hit X, the box will unfold and close back. See, it has a fair number of straps there. Now, back here, you can see I've got 
six stacks of three bales each. So I've got 18 bales on here. And I could probably put another three if I didn't have the rear. So, you know, I thought I could probably, I thought I might be able to go four wide on this. Um, but it didn't work out. I started at the rear, worked my way to the front. And you can see I basically have enough room I could put, if I started at the front, worked my way to the back, I could put three more on the back. Easy. If that back uh, retaining, if that back thing wasn't there, the the uh, the wall, the little brace. So, kind of wish that that was removable, and I could still have the front. Uh, of course, I could have always just bought it in a standard configuration, and have been able to do that. And I think I could probably have put four high on this trailer. It's marginally stable in a three high configuration. Do the same little test. We'll drive around uh, the uh, store here. See, I'm taking these turns with a pretty good pace. And leaning a little bit not near as much as the homemade or the old school trailer was lights rear rear work light even on the trailer way blinkers left and right Let's check the lights on the old school trailer here before we go check out that potato pusher. Brake lights, reverse lights, no working lights, flashers, blinkers. Let's go look at this potato pusher. And please, somebody in the comments, let me know what this, how this thing would be functional or usable. So basically, we get a left mouse button, and we can, okay, moves the potato pusher out, or onto the bed, and M retracts it. Or you can use the mouse and basically scroll, scroll left to extend it, move left to extend it, move right to retract it. Um, I mean, I assume you can basically maybe put pallets on there and use that to, uh, you know, compress them together. This thing does have straps in that configuration. I thought, well, maybe you could put a stack of bales on the back, then use this to press them, move them forward. But I don't think it, it doesn't move. I think it moves full bale length width to then basically push bales from the back to the front. And I think the act of pushing it like this would probably topple over bales on top of bales. So like I said, I'm a little at a loss as to what the potato pusher's functionality is. And maybe you guys can help me out with that. So again, these are two bale trailers over at 4D Modding. I'll put links to both of them in the description to the Facebook posts. They are still in Giants Mod Hub, waiting to be tested. When they're tested, they intend to be released for consoles. But for now, they are PC only. So guys, let me know what you think of both of those trailers. And until next time, happy farming.